Hello, I'm Amber, and this is BBCLearningEnglish.com. In Entertainment Today, we listen to extracts from an interview with John Major, who was the British Prime Minister before Tony Blair. He's written a book about the history of cricket from the 18th century to the First World War. It's called More Than a Game, the story of cricket's early years. And, as we'll hear, there's plenty to say about the ways politics and cricket meet. First, here's John Major talking about how cricket used to be very class-ridden. In other words, it followed the class divisions of society. He agrees that cricket was very bound up with class, but that was becoming less true. It was beginning to fade when he fell in love with the game as a boy growing up in a working-class family. He says there were meaningless or absurd practices, such as men of different status having to enter the pitch through different gates and use different dressing rooms. As you listen, try to catch the expression John Major uses to describe how cricket was very slow to accept or to come to terms with the fact that society was changing. It was becoming less divided by class. It was, yes, it was. I mean, it was beginning to fade then, but only just beginning. And, of course, for most of the 19th century and before, it was a very class-ridden game. Until well into the 20th century, you found professionals and amateurs entering the pitch from different gates. It was an absurdity and not sharing the same dressing room. It was very slow in many ways to come to terms with the real world. Did you catch it? John Major says cricket was very slow in many ways to come to terms with the real world. The real world, the set of situations most humans have to deal with in their lives rather than what happens in stories, films and so on. It was, yes, it was. I mean, it was beginning to fade then, but only just beginning. And, of course, for most of the 19th century and before, it was a very class-ridden game. Until well into the 20th century, you found professionals and amateurs entering the pitch from different gates. It was an absurdity, and not sharing the same dressing room. It was very slow in many ways to come to terms with the real world. In his book, John Major admits to feeling very sorry that, when he was Prime Minister, many playing fields, especially school playing fields, were sold. This prevented many people from playing cricket in a land where the modern version of the game was born. He says, in retrospect, when he thinks about the past in the light of the knowledge he has now, he thinks he should have made it harder for playing fields to be sold. He should have put in place a blanket ban. A blanket ban is an unlimited ban affecting all cases. So, does he feel guilty? I do. I mean, I did stop some of them, and I did make it harder for them to be sold. I think in retrospect it would have been better to have had a blanket ban on the sales. And will John Major be publishing other books? And why does he write? Listen. I've always enjoyed writing. I still have drafts of bits of several novels. But I wrote all the time. I, I write a lot of uh, poetry, not for publication, but privately. I find it very cathartic to pick up a pen and to write. It's particularly cathartic at moments of stress. Well, we don't know if he'll be publishing other books, but he has written drafts of bits of several novels. A draft is a first or rough version, and he writes a lot of poetry, but this is private. And he writes because he finds it cathartic, calming and purifying, especially at moments of stress or difficulty. I've always enjoyed writing. I still have drafts of bits of several novels, but I wrote all the time. I, I write a lot of uh, poetry, not for publication, but privately. I find it very cathartic to pick up a pen and to write. It's particularly cathartic at moments of stress. Now, here's a list of the language we focused on in today's programme. To be 
class ridden to follow the class divisions of society to come to terms with something to accept something you don't like the real world the set of situations most humans have to deal with in their lives rather than what happens in films and stories and so on in retrospect thinking about the past in the light of recent knowledge a blanket ban an unlimited ban cathartic calming and purifying more entertainment news stories and language explanations next time at bbclearningenglish.com